Bow Wow, I cannot with you. You did all that theatrics, run around here hollering, screaming, talking about what you're going to do, and you just sat down and talked. Just talked and have a nice conversation. I command you for that, and I am actually command you for sitting down, actually listening to him, let him tell you his problems, you tell him what you failed. I'm actually kind of glad you didn't show your ass, and you actually sat down and talked. We actually saw a little bit of maturity of you, just a little bit of maturity of you, and I'm proud of you at least. So this is supposed to be your stalker or is somebody else stalking you, allegedly stalking you. I can't wait to see that part. Lord, I can't with Toya and her damn daughter. I cannot and will not. So this little help is so grown that she don't realize that she was wrong. Toya, you shouldn't expect less or more out of her. I don't know what the hell you was thinking, but you did expect something. I don't know what the hell you thought you were going to get with that little grown brat. But anyway, though, she put down her feelings on a voice recorder and feel like that whole Brenda situation that her mama didn't have her back. So she did a voice memo over and said, this it for now. I have this. You only heard one part. You don't know how many parts. I Toya, that is your daughter. Your daughter not going to be an adult or act like an adult until you tighten that leash around that neck. Until then, don't expect her to act like no adult because that's not going to happen. I'm just telling you now, right now, why she 18. Where did she get 21? She going to give you more hell than she is now. <laughs> So apparently Bow Wow have a stalker, and apparently they send a picture to his phone talking about watch your back in the A, and apparently he got this friend called the Wag, whatever the fucking name that is, talking about sending the homies over to take care of some business. Okay, now how long this charade going to last? That we, the, so the Bow Wow got homies that can beat people up, and he got goons and homies that willing to do time for him? G who he supposed to be? The fake version of little fake ass short version of Meek Mill. Ain't nobody buying that bullshit. I'm sorry. This is Meek Mill in the making. Love Bow Wow. Meek Little Short Mill. I can't. Brandon, sweetie, I'm sorry. You gave her the tip, come fucking up her auditions. Now she giving your ass the tap by fucking with your favorite girl group, Brave. Now let's see you be brave enough and try it again. You get your tip, she got her tap. I don't feel sorry for you. Earth to Mars, Mama Deb. You should have told your stepson to learn his place and don't talk to you and do shit he think he gonna do that ain't gonna come back to bite him in his big ass. I don't feel sorry for him. Deb, you need to teach your stepson a lesson. He ain't quite learning his lessons. He think he ain't taught it all just cause you his stepmom and not realizing that y'all ain't really blood. You just adopted him. He think he blood, not realizing he step. You might want to teach him the difference between those two words. His entitled big ass. By why how's the blouse ish um vicious? Um, you the one said you were retiring at 30. You the one said all this. And as for your little Bow Wow challenge, boy, go to hell. I, I don't see vicious. You let that affect you. Most people celeb, somebody they got a little fame to their name, they'll look, turn the page, and keep it moving. Unlike you, you let it bother you, just like you let Funk, Funk, Funk Master Flex, however you say his name, fuck with you, to make you get in the studio just to make you do better. So, vicious people ignore it. You, you go head on and say what you got to say, so they win because you giving them the attention they ask them for by, by writing that type of stuff, and you give the attention by reading, writing about it, talking shit about it, so keep on giving the blogs money by talking about it. You doing them a good job putting money in their back in the accounts. So now Brandon snitching on his mama, telling her part, but won't tell his part that you can't walk up in that woman auditioning, showing your little ass. You won't say that part, but you just going to tell her mama dear last time I going to whoop her ass. Since you want to go tell this snitch, why don't you go whoop her ass? How about that one? You know what, Reginae? 
I'm glad you the type of little helper that like to go around talking about some, I'm not going to let it go since she want to be grown. I'm going to get somebody that's going to be even growner than him to beat his ass. You know what that's called? If they end up beating him, killing him, an accessory. You ready for your little ass to go to prison? Well, how that boy beat up and God forbid he happen to die or get beat up or happen to, you know, something happened to him. Guess who they going to point the finger at, little girl? Your uncles died for the same damn reason. Are you really, really going to let some shit about your dad really fuck up the rest of your 18-year-old life because you want to keep this shit going because you ain't got nothing else better to do with your life? Really, girl? Girl, you better wake up and smell the damn coffee. Toya, you better get your daughter and teach her some damn men. Let's talk about getting somebody to beat somebody's ass. Just like you can get somebody to beat his ass, he can get somebody to whoop your little 18-year-old ass. Just remember that, hun. You ain't the only one that can make calls to have somebody beat up who. So go ahead and have your little fun, little girl. Oh, so Baba, you want to be an accessory after the fact, too, along with this helper. Oh, okay, you you ain't got no career law already, matter of fact. So if she do something, you talking about some make sure you come to me for you do something. So if she decided to do something, don't tell you about it, and you knew something was going down, but you ain't stop it. Oh, she taking all y'all down with her. Go ahead. Go ahead and let her do it, Baba. Go ahead, because I see you ain't trying to talk no sense on her, neither. Y'all ain't trying to talk talk sits in this little help and I'm just gonna sit back and shake my damn head. So little Miss Hurricane have a relationship trouble in paradise again. They on the love fest with in Atlanta. Miss Amy phone blowing up back to back calls. Miss Insecure Insecurity start to kick in. They argue. They bicker. She wish her chlamydia. She won't off this damn thing. I told you to break up with her a long, long time ago. She ain't interested in you. She just wanted you to move her to Atlanta. That about all she wanted from you, and you did that. Now nah, she can leave you on now. You can go find you another one if you will. And oh, now we got Brandon trying to teach Deb a lesson about moving out. He want out of her shadow. So how to make that even better? Let's just move out of Mama Deb's house and move on on our own paying our own bills. That might sound cute right now, Brandon, while you trying to make a steak, man. But I don't see no job in your future. Let's see you pay them bills by your damn sister since you want to move on and be all grown. Good luck. All right, now, them um, photos for that book, they nice. I like them. Little Miss Grown Ass, you know how to take a picture. I'm proud of you, Toya. You, your little short ass know how to take a picture, too. That's going to be some cute pictures of that book, though. I can agree to that. That book, the least the cover and all, that going to look nice. I ain't reading the book. I'm just judging by the picture. Then. Them pictures look like they're going to be off the hook, though. Oh, my God. This little girl is a little shitster. You ain't got to talk to and greet and many people. Um, he in my seat. Your mama said, girl, bye. I ain't got time for this. You in the talk to Little Miss Hurricane. I ain't in the mood for none of this shit. Get over it. Move on. Go sit in the corner. Girl, move your ass and sit in another seat. Ain't no six limit to that no club. You really upset and pretty get all out your feelings for a Toya, why did you release your little spoiled brat on this world? I mean, she a little bit too spoiled. Now we here to have an argument about a seat. Are you... Y'all got to pray for Toya. I mean, for your yeah, Toya and her, and her hair she got for 18 years. Girl, you some type of pitiful. Read your name. I wish you the best in your little sport, brat, career, or whatever you got going on in your endeavors. Too bad they won't be able to short to live, live to be to see you 21. The way you acting and the way you going, he outside. Go get him. Okay, girl, ain't nothing but a charge. A charge ain't nothing to be played with, and a charge ain't nothing but a thing you throw at somebody and it stick. Don't let one stick to your little ass. That little manufactured ass fight. 
Hey, how does one just walk into your studio section, come in there, interrupt your damn flow, talking about some old oh, Hollywood, what's up with you? You thought you going to come in without seeing me, and then y'all look, fighting it. How much did y'all pay him to come in there and show his ass with the blurred out face? Yeah, normally with the blurred out face, there's somebody that don't want to be seen. So, we TV, you losing your credibility with me. You really are with that shit right there. That that was some manufactured bullshit right there. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the season damn finale with Bow on his little scrimmage, his little scrimmage as I call it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank y'all for watching another series, another series with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one, I guess, when it comes around. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. Bye.